Hi, today I'll be going over how to make an uh, AI EMG sensor using an Arduino and a Raspberry Pi. So before going over how to make it, let me briefly introduce myself. I'm a student from Tokyo, currently junior year, and has to interest towards mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, such as Python, Raspberry Pi, Arduino, machine learning, and CAD 3D printing. And my name is Hikaru Shimada. So nice to meet you guys. This is the EMG sensor that I have made. This costs around $60. And it's connected through either a serial port or Bluetooth serial port. And the sensor is fitted on a rubber band which extends and shrinks to adjust its pressure on the skin so it can read a better data out of the movement. To run TensorFlow and Python, we're going to use Raspberry Pi that has Raspbian installed and TensorFlow and Python platform already installed. I'm going to be accessing it through Jupyter Lab for easy access and for debugging purpose. So first, I'll be briefly going over how the system will work. First, this part. The sensor is connected to Ar Arduino and hands off the data here to Arduino. And then Arduino input data into fast Fourier transform and then shrink output which is 128 to 8 numbers. And then write that over serial port or Bluetooth serial port over and, and to Raspberry Pi. And in Raspberry Pi, there's two sections. First is training section. This will use Python. And it inputs a text file that has sample data and its label. And it loads the text file and creates a MLP model and trains itself. And we save the model here. And here, the key part is that we don't overtrain the MLP model. This is because if we overtrain it, um, the data needs to be exactly how the input data should be when it does the real-time analysis. So then, um, in here, we have to make it brief training, so we will not make the epochs higher to avoid that. And second point, it's the real-time analysis. This will also use the Python. And here, um, the script will receive the serial port. The script will receive the serial data from Arduino, and it will read. And then it will also load the saved model that was created before by the training script. And it will load the model. And then it will apply the input data, received data, to the model and make an assumption. It will print out the name or label percentage using the model. So this is how the system will work. So now let's program it. So now I'll be going over Arduino, the Arduino code briefly. So then we're going to use fast Fourier transform and uh, EMG filter uh, which is a uh, sensor. So here we initialize a serial and initializes the uh, filter for um, the sensors. And here we can see it's reading two analog values of sensors uh, filter. And then we square the data and we filter it here to make it clean. And um, well, when we get the data, it stores up to 64 numbers. So we actually get 64 data samples and we append it and it closes and then since we have two uh, devices, we fast for you transform both signals. So that's for the first one, and then that's for the second one. And then it stores the data. And then here, we shrink the 64 um, outputs of these into um, 16. And we append it. And here, we shrink that 16. We configure that 16 to make it easier to understand and make it to so that's 16 divided by 2 so that's going to be eight eight numbers of data sample samples <clears throat> and in here as we can see we're writing over zero right and here we're storing the past data to compare it and 
and this is currently like the device is attached to my arm currently so then I'll first make a pump so that section is a pump and next I'll be doing a peace sign so that section is peace sign and now I'll be doing a fist So now I'll be going over the program on Raspberry Pi, specifically importing the uh, sensor data output from Arduino and then processing it and creating first creating a mo model. So first here, uh, loads numpy and loads the text file, the training text file. So it looks like these. These are the data samples and that's the label at the back. So then and in here you can see uh, it reads up to uh, number seven so one two three four five six seven here so that's zero to seven and number eight is the label so it's, it's going to append to the label and uh, each uh, when there's uh, zero for remainder for dividing i, do, I by four it's going to append to a test, uh, test array, so then that's going to be same here. And then it saves as num numpy file in here. And then this is the second um, script, which um, creates the model out of the numpy file saved above. So now here we import TensorFlow <coughs> and Keras, and we import um, numpy file that we have created here and then now we make a data set out of it by uh, slicing and shuffling and now here we're here we make a model uh, Keras model so this is MLP model and then it goes 7, 128, 128 and 10 and it has 48 epochs and it goes up to about 52 percent most of the time and now here we save the model so then we can load it, uh, when we're going to when we are going to do the real-time analysis and here's the third script where uh this script does the real-time analysis using the model we have created here that's saved so we load mod modules and here we're gonna set the uh, the size of the serial inputs, and this is the serial uh, connection and label, and opening the model that we have created above here. Where this part is the loop, it first reads the serial input from the Raspberry Pi, uh, Arduino and in here if it's true it's gonna um, uh, first append into values uh, append into numpy, numpy array and then it's gonna um, reshape the array to um, so the the model can uh, the model can be utilized to uh, detect the input and then we just simply predict and then score label and yeah and then it's just it just prints out the name and the score first I'll be talking about the reasoning behind making these AI sensors I have been interested in making uh, 3d printed models and um, electrical engineering and recently I've built a prosthetic hand using a 3D printer and some uh, homemade DIY actuators. And also uh, the past model of these has an AI uh, camera on it, which, uh, which is written in TensorFlow and um, uh, Python and detects um, objects. And then it automatically um, chooses uh, best option 
like movement, so just like grip, pinch, to um, grab the uh, recognize objects by with the camera. So since I've built these, I feel like how could I make user more easily interactable with these, not struggling selecting a mode on on the back of the hands. And then I came up with this, which recognizes the pattern of different patterns of muscle movement and then using the train model to select the user intended option. For more information, I'll attach a Instagram link here so then you guys can check more about these hands, the awesome hands I made. We can see I'm trying out the system I've made. So now it's recognizing the fist on the screen as we can see and I've changed it to peace sign and it, since it's running on Raspberry Pi it's going to take a while but it will recognize as we can see here and on this video too although this system works as I mentioned it, ras it runs on Raspberry Pi so then and the data is still not that good so then it takes a while to recognize or it some, sometimes doesn't recognize so that's improvement to do. Another reason that I have built this and made it open to the public is so that I can contribute it to the society and people can branch off from this project and make some awesome things that could actually help us, not just like playing around like I do. So yeah, I'll be posting a link to uh, data so feel free to download and use to make a world better. So thank you guys for sticking till the last of the video and hope you guys enjoyed it. And please, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or contact me on the email on Instagram. See you.